Anyone else? Uh, let me, let me, the gentleman goes by. I'll give you about five minutes so we can. I'll try to keep it short. Okay. Do you live in the vicinity? Yes, sir. Where do you live? My name is William Pierce. I live at 8371 3rd Avenue, uh, just behind the church. Uh, is that right across from Redford's church? Yeah, but between, between, between the two churches. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. And uh, I've been at these meetings, uh, all of them as well. And uh, it's, I'm sure it's a very tough job to sit here and, and to listen to everything that's going on. But um, I guess I have a... You know, I, I'm invited here because I live in a town. I'm invited here because I'm within a certain you know, proximity of what's going on. I'm invited here because I should have a say because I pay property tax. And, and, exactly. and I live here, right? I mean, and that's, and that's my concern is that, you know, we've got a lot of people here who pay taxes to this, you know, to Jefferson County. And these people deserve, you know, a say, and, and it's something that should be, it should weigh on everyone that has to make this decision. You know, these are people who are brought in because it directly affects them. It directly affects the, the value of their property, which is an investment. Um, and at that point, to say maybe that, you know, no, uh, we're not going to listen, we're going to rezone, that is also to disregard any investment that they've made in, in, the, in the city. Here, I mean, we, we buy property, we want to live here. You know, we, we thought it was a very nice place, and why, you know, why wouldn't we want to live here? But at, at the same time now, if, if we can see our values uh, depreciated, and, and the same thing you spoke of earlier, you know, you know, paving, changing, you know, uh, I've got some skyline, but I'm going to have a little less when that, that building comes up. Uh, you know, those, those things are affecting me, and they're affecting uh, what, what value my property has in the end. And, and I, I think to vote... You know, especially for such a small piece of property that we should pass this, you know, is, is kind of saying that it doesn't matter on the people here that are paying property tax. I mean, I, I take that back to, you know, uh, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, typically religious institutions don't pay that. That's not an investment that they make. You know, there is investments they have in the community for sure. And, uh, you know, not to belittle those, I, you know, I'm a God-fearing Christian man myself. And, and I, I don't go to church there, but uh, I do respect what they're doing. But at the same time, the people who have made those monetary investments, I think, are people that should have an opinion, and that, and that opinion should be heard. You know, at the same at the same time, I guess my concern is with the way this meeting has been going on tonight. You know, the you know the, the remark was made. You know, you know, know your neighbors and know what's going on. Well, you know, this is kind of fearful for me though, because when I moved in. The church owned part of the property next to me, but not all of it. And now I'm currently surrounded by the church. You know, they didn't come out to me to discuss anything that's going on, uh, future plans or what have you. And now I'm having to th rethink this whole thing because, you know, if they own all three sides of me, it's just a matter of time where they can just push right down in and, and surround me, and, and I I can watch my property value continue to to plummet. Uh, it's the same thing that they're that they're going through right now, and to say, you know, we don't know and what's going on uh, in the future, you don't. You, you have to make uh, uh, an educated guess and you, and you take risks in life. But I have to say that this is more fearful for me with, with the, you know, bringing up the law. You know, I understand you, you, you feel led uh, with which way it needs to be go. I, I, I hear that a lot tonight, it seems like. But it, it isn't a definite, you know, it, it, I believe it comes with honestly listening to what has to be done uh, what makes sense, and respecting the people who are paying property tax and living here. I mean, uh, to say that I'm sorry, you know, the institution moves forward doesn't really make sense, except for a thumb your nose is almost at the people who have invested here. And so I guess my concern here is uh, not to be derogatory. I don't mean that in, in any you know attacking form, but to, uh, we came here because it matters to us because we're not. Looking for some place to run off and, and let this go, you know, it, it means something to fight for it. And you know, I'm here. I'm here because I want to be here. And so, I'm fearful though for a future that I don't know. And you know, maybe there's plans out there. You know, some of these plans date way back. Even though at some point we said, they said we don't have a plan yet. Well, you know, everyone has a plan. 
It may not be all written down. It may not be uh, cross T's and dotted I's and ready to launch, but I'd imagine there's even plans for the property in my house or else there'd be no reason to purchase it. So to hear that we have to go in a certain direction is really fearful for me because now I'm going to be surrounded on all sides shortly uh, by the church. I they currently own everything right now anyway. And to be a good neighbor is to respect me and, and my investment too. Uh, and I think for the church to be a good neighbor is also supporting the community and it's not actively seeking, uh, I guess, legal uh, channels to, to attack the town because they don't gain anything from that either, aside from the fact that it's not biblical for them to do that. You know, basically, you're supposed to decide these things outside of court. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to run and to take these things and and fight. You're supposed to uh, be meek and understanding and respectful of others, but not to necessarily not to to to, uh, to lose your principles about it. You know, there is a certain amount of respect and honor uh, that is due uh, God, and I guess that's really my. That's probably about all I have to say tonight. But Thank you. I know it's tough, and uh, we don't make a good decision. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm John Hambright. I'm the senior pastor of the Eden Baptist Church in, in Morris, Alabama, and been to all of the meetings except one. Uh, to the council, uh, maybe you cannot answer question if you can. If you choose not to zone this property as we have asked you to do it, can we not still cut down the trees? Can we still not develop that property? Um, in what aspect would you be asking? Well, in the fact that, you know, they have, they have made statements that you know, they like the trees and they like 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 this and that and the other. Could we not cut down the trees and put a double wide or build a house or something? It's residential. I mean uh, but that's neither here that that's just a question for Paul. Uh, I wanna say that uh, we are not in the building business. Buildings to us are facilities to help us to reach people, to grow, help grow this town uh, in a moral and a spiritual way. No way do we want to be adversarial. Uh, I've known Misty, I've known Michael for more years than, than, than I care to, care to count. I know that. When I came to this community, I fell in love with it. Uh, the church began to grow, the town began to grow. Uh, kids became a priority in our lives. Uh, we believe that if you were to train children uh, to respect laws, train them to be moral people, that in the long run, they would have the leadership and the moral fiber of the community in which we live. The reason that we showed you all of the buildings that, uh, and all the plans that we have is to show you that there is a need that we have uh, to be able to accommodate those people who have put their faith and their confidence in Enid Baptist Church in Marshall. And it would be so much easier for a young lady like uh, Misty have a couple of children to be able to walk that short distance to a well-facilitated building. And I want to encourage you uh, to go ahead and prove this. I'm not trying to make enemies with any of our neighbors. Uh, we love our neighbors and we love the work that God has given us to do. So I ask you to approve the recommendation that's been given. Thank you. Uh, I guess you have any fight for this. I don't know. I'm like so confused and I, I don't think there's much I can say. I think, I, I, I guess I just want to see what happens tonight and see where I need to go. I don't know what to, I mean, I'm so confused. It looks so much better.
He's no, Fowler and Maynard. Uh, uh, Fowler and Maynard. <laughs> yeah, anything further? Anything further? Yeah, one. Yeah, one. Miss Pierce, I think. We're going to give you about five minutes. I don't even need that long. Oh, okay. <laughs> but thank you. Um, my name is Megan Pierce, and I live at the same address as the gentleman who spoke before the pastor, 837 3rd Avenue. And I just, well, not good at public speaking, but you were saying about a well facilitated building, and they can walk across the street to that, but a church is more than a well facilitated building. It's good that you have youth in mind. We have a, a, a baby. We have him in mind as well. A church, a youth building is good. It's not required. More parking that you had is gone. Now you require more. Required. But you're going to take away some of the atmosphere of his children. They don't go to Enon. They can choose what church they go to. His kids, I know his kids, they enjoy their space, their yard, the woods that's beautiful and peaceful next to them. The parking lot won't be such. The parking lot next to us, should it expand, will not be that for us. I think that we put our faith in God, not in a building, not in a parking lot. They can park lots of places. You can have lots of places. Don't hurt our property value. We're going to close the floor at this time and allow the uh, council to take this into consideration. I'm going to ask that the clerk, Ms. Rob, read these on him. And let me get something clear real quick. Is this four acres and this 92 foot all under one application? <coughs> This is what poses somewhat of a problem then. Will you go ahead and read, read the application? Mm -hmm. Parcel 10 and T, lot 1 and block A, from R2 single family district to institutional district for the purpose of a parking lot. Parcels 23, lots 1, 2, and 3, and 4 of block B and lots 5, 6, 7, and 8 of Block T. Parcel 24.2, part of Lot 1 of Block C. Lot F, south of Lot 7 and 8 of Block T. And Lot 8 of Block 3 from RT Single Family District to Institutional District for Parking and Future Buildings, Worship and Education. Also, comes from the zoning board with following provisions. Uh, they recommend wooden fence vegetation such as leaving cypress shrubs, landscape on the outside of the fence, to be maintained by any member of the councils. Uh, I'm going to leave it on y'all to make the decisions on what height fence you want to put in this provision. And, what type of vegetation? I'm gonna let y'all discuss the money sale because I'm gonna be honest with you right now. Where I stand, I was not aware of the situation that took place. I didn't know Miss Barker had to get an attorney because she felt threatened, and I'm sorry for the church. But I, it, it's something to me when an individual in a town feels so threatened that they have to do what they have to do and pay all their hard-earned money to an attorney. And this is regardless of this law. I'll step down in the town to take the hit. But when an individual has to hire an attorney to protect their property in this manner, that nothing can be worked out between the twos, that, that, I mean, that burns me right there. That, that just hurts my feelings something off. I mean, that makes me feel hard. So y'all can take it on yourself and y'all can make the decision, but I'll tell you right now, my vote is no. And my vote is no because of what Miss Bartlett's had to go through. So it's up to y'all. May I? 
I've been, I'm on the zone board. I've been on the zone board eight, eight years, and I'm not a good public speaker either, so. I've been to every meeting, never missed one. I'm on the council. It's been perceived to me that Enon is some big monster up here on the hill. And they're not. Enon is our community. They are a huge part of our I have friends that go to Enon. I have neighbors that go to Enon. They're a big part of our community. We're going through growing pain. No doubt. We are a small town, and that's one reason we put a zoning board together because of all of the growing things. The way I feel right now, I'm going to vote for it. Because I think they have, and I stated it, you know, you can put this on your cameras. I stated it <laughs> that um, they went through the process, and to my knowledge, I didn't see any threatening. This is my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Only yeah, opinion. That's right. I just feel that Ian went through the right. I'm approaches. not going to deny that the process they did was right, but it just to, seems to me like what went wrong? Conflict of interest. What? Where did it go wrong? Conflict of interest. I'm I'm, I'm a master's level educated. Excuse me, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you're not a member of this community. I know, but you're. I'm sorry. No, no interruption from out. But I just. I feel like you haven't recognized it. I'm sorry. The floor is closed. Yes, sir. Amongst the council only. Yes, sir. Any more interruption, I will have to ask the authority to ask you. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. But here, I mean, I've been on the zoning board. We've had these issues before. We've had a resident come here. And they, and what got banned was they came and asked the advice, which I give them the best advice I could have gave. Let's work out together, okay? Rather than take my advice and try to work it out, they went and hired an attorney. Well, all that did was make the other landlord mad. You know, you, 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 you get more with honey than you do with vinegar, and that's my belief. You know, I, I don't have a problem with Mr. Hayes or Mr. Brown coming in. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. I, I like all the more information I can get, the better well, I think we all are. I guess is I'm not a member of Ana. I've never attended Ana. My family goes to Ana. I have family members that have been to Ana to the point they moved into the town of Morris, and Ana was started to the day they passed away. And, and that's my point. Enon is not a big monster up here. I'm not He's trying to reach monster. out and grab everybody. What I'm perceiving is that Enon is a big part of our community. But she felt people. to the point of threat. Oh, I never see. once, you know, I know there's a lot of well, media, I, there's a lot of confusion. I have to I sympathize on her part because I can put myself in her shoes when, when you feel no, like I can too. I can too. But I think everything has gone through the, this is my opinion and my vote. Is well, yet. let me ask you this. In my opinion, now listen to me. Okay. Please. They went through all the processes. Everybody recruited herself from the from boat that had any part. Ian, to me, tried to be to resolve this. They, the first, first meeting, they had a very, even though it's preliminary, they had a set of plans that was, okay, it answered a lot of questions for me right there. And down the line. You know, and I'm, I'm sure there's some distrust, and, and it would look bad to me if I was you. But the main reason that I say, you, might, you, know, you do have a right, and I know there's a lot of people snickering about it, but in America, we have a right. That's why we're all gathered here. Yeah. And yeah, we do have a right to do within the laws, within the zoning board, with the council approval, we have the right to do these things. Amen. I'm, I'm understanding that. I don't have any more comments. Anyone else? Is the council ready to take a vote on this? I think we decided we are going to vote for it and we decide what this is. 
fence and such. I'm going to wave at you, y'all. Well, we can't just Roll call. Well, we got it. Hey, to get this I believe we can, we can put, the other can be worked at. with some concessions made, and I think that Misty and, and the, the people in, in, in the booths, I think y'all can meet with them you know, and try to work out something. I don't think it's my right to say, hey, y'all got to put up a fence. I think y'all can sit down and negotiate. And well, I've got everything documented where we try to do that. I don't know. Well, but does again, the church have any any reason not to want to? Okay. Well, to put up a fence to follow the provision that will set forward. But is that the normal policy and procedure when you rezone property in Morris, Alabama? We have. We, we have recommended concessions, but we can't make it. Okay. So, will we stand at this time? I make a motion that we vote. I have a motion and a second. Roll call vote. Ray Densmore? No. Philip Dillard? Yes. Clovis Laney? Yes. Joe Pilot? Yes. Motion carries. I'll make a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Adjourn. Motion adjourn. Second. We're now adjourned.